on this segment we are at Bethany United Methodist Church and I'm here with Scotty Coyle and Scotty thank you for taking a minute to be with us tell us a bit about what you're uh, what you do here what is your job description so to speak well I'm the outreach director and so a big part of what I do is try to get the church out into the community and then get the community back into the church let people know about all the great things we've got going on here and uh, support any evangelism efforts we might have well, a lot is going on and uh, let's let's talk a little bit about how Bethany has been changing lives because it's in a growth it's it's an exciting place you know comment on that well the number one way that Bethany's changing lives is uh, people are being led to Christ all the time if you ever come to a service here the pastors are amazing and uh, every sermon is just filled with scripture so God's words being lifted up also another thing that you'll notice about this church is it's very focused on the least of these where you know Christ said if you if you fed me if you visited me if you gave me a drink we have so many programs here where we reach out to the community we try to take care of others we try to build others up so what's new that's happening for the growth of the church? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is we are building a new sanctuary. This sanctuary uh, has been 10 years of effort and prayers. It's really been a need since some of our services are really at capacity. Uh, we have so many programs that sometimes our, we don't have enough room to do our programs or uh, the scope that we want them to do. Uh, do them in. So we're building the new facility down on Buckeye and uh, Brookside Road. So let's talk about some of the things that are making an impact here at the church. Well, one of the great ways that a church can make an impact is to have an event that's not just for the church family, but it's also for the community. And we have so many great events like that. Like we do a VBS where it's at no cost and we invited it, the community in. We get over 500 kids coming to that. We even did like a parent spa, so there's even something for the parents. So while their kids are at VBS, we have all these free vendors come in that put up a spa atmosphere for the parents. We really want to love on. We do an Easter egg hunt. We do a phenomenal trunk or treat. Just so many programs where our church community blends so well with the greater community and they can get to know us and you don't have to be a member. We just want to reach out to them and love on them. And uh, when it comes to uh, any kind of schooling here, preschool? Yeah. I think part of the thing that makes uh, Bethany such a great impact is uh, there's something for the family all the way through. We have our own preschool here and it is an excellent preschool. We're part of the uh, school choice program which uh, celebrates uh, private school uh, quality private school education and um, so like we have something we have a preschool for the really young kids and then we have an Awana program for the a little bit older and then we have a solid and awesome youth program with lots of sports and lots of events all through the summer for them. We just started a wonderful bridge uh, ministry. Bridge is for young adults, so for college and young business professionals. Uh, a, a ministry and a group of people focused just for them that carries them through. And then, of course, we're very focused on families and adults with all our small groups. And then we also have something, so now you're at that point in life where things maybe get a little tough. We have wonderful programs like divorce care, um, celebrate recovery, so many support programs. So through all phases of life, good and bad, there's something here for everyone and that's making an impact in families in the Lehigh Valley. We are now joined by Ken Hoover, the uh, worship director here at the church. And Ken, thanks for taking a second to be with us. We've heard a lot of great things about the ministry you do here, and I know you work with a lot of great people, but let's talk about it. You know, what does the, the new campus mean for what you're doing and how the ministry, how the worship part of it all plays together? We are so excited for this new campus because it's an opportunity for us to have a new palette to paint on. We, we do five worship services in this facility, and this, this facility was designed um, it's a wonderful facility, but it wasn't designed for the full extent of what we're doing. Uh, we put on uh, musicals and productions. And we, we really have to be creative on you know, how to pull these things off. And uh, the new facility gives us just more options, more opportunities to grow the production. Uh, we, our choir loft seats 60 people, and I've had to limit our choir to just 60. You probably have tons of people want to get in. Right? I, you know, I'd love to see that expand. I'd love to see more people up on the platform, and uh, so we're excited for that. The other, the other thing that you know, I think of when it talks about worship ministry, the possibilities that we have for down the road. We, have, we have watched people drive into our parking lot on a Sunday morning, 
and they drive around looking for that space. They cannot find it and they drive off. And that just breaks our heart because we want them to come in. We want them to have a seat. We want them to have a space in the lot. This, this new site's gonna provide us more parking, more seating for our services. And we're really excited about that. Well, what a great problem to have that you are doing something that is uh, being blessed when people are coming and you, now you need more room for them to come so you can bless more people. You know, in, in a final word really, in what we're talking about when it comes to worship, um, if somebody's watching this and maybe they'd like to, maybe they've always dreamed or felt in their heart they'd like to be part of a worship team. Uh, how does that play into all this? I mean, can someone just show up and say, hey, can I try out or how do I get in? I've been praying about this. You know, my philosophy for worship ministry is music is for the, the heart, not the art. And, you know, we, we want to have some art in there, so we work really hard to be the best that we can. But the biggest thing is the condition of the heart. And we want, we, we spend just as much time in Bible study with our musicians um, as we do in rehearsal. Um, so, yeah, we, you have to have a basic uh, level of, of talent there, but at the same time, we want to know your heart, and we just want to all serve Jesus and bring glory to Him. What would you like to leave people thinking about when they're thinking about the whole church as a whole and also the worship part? We have adopted a slogan um, with this building campaign that we did. It's, it's way more than a building, and that really is our heart. It's not about you know, bricks and mortar. It's about transformed lives for Jesus Christ. Uh, we want people to come in, and we don't want them to see us. We want them to see Jesus Christ through everything that we do, through the worship, through all of our ministries, and everything that we're doing.